Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And uh, hey, want to follow up here, uh, Sorgatron.com. Check out everything. I think we're going to try to do some special holiday posts. So uh, there's still stuff going on over the holidays. I know a lot of stuff is going hiatus, but we're going to keep you in content while you're uh, out on your travels, whatever the case may be, one way or another. It might be a little disjointed uh, schedule wise, but uh, you know, it'll be out there. Uh, so uh, I want to talk about today something I brought up uh, previously when we were talking about, uh, you know, hey, I watched, I read, I read a book, guys, uh, with the jab, jab, right hook stuff. But uh, one comment I, I made was about uh, kind of uh, uh, you know, creatively uh, um, having a space to work in. And uh, I, I was starting to reach down a rabbit hole that didn't have to do with the subject I was trying to do in that 10 minutes. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I'm thinking about, you know, okay, obviously we have established things like our awesome Castle Wrestling Mayhem show. We have established websites. And uh, for somebody like me who who is trying to figure out new ways to make things, to get on board with things, you need you need a place to experiment. Uh, I'm the kind of person who always needed an area to apply things. Uh, whether it was in school at the Art Institute, like, hey, you took a flash ca- class. Great. I don't have anything to do. You know, I, I can't just go by the book and make something. I had to make something for something with purpose. And at the time, I had a fan site. I, for, for nine years, I ran a site called WesternPAJuggalos.com. It was an insane clown posse fan site. But the most importantly, that is the place where I learned how to um, run a community, deal with the community, deal with the problems around the community, build a website, redesign a website. Um, worked. I worked in Flash because that's the hot thing at the time and, and tried to figure out uh, ways to do that we, you know, with flash intros and, and that was where I got to experiment there that was my whiteboard that's where I got to throw things and see what stuck and it was okay and now a lot of those skills I can then bring over to the business world a lot of those skills I brought to my job afterwards because I was doing video regardless if I had a video job or not uh, at all these events and putting them up on the web we were putting video on our website far before there was a YouTube that was freaking hard man you know, on on that website, <laughs> and uh, you know, I was dealing with uh, uh, figuring out content management systems before anybody had a WordPress. We were doing CGI scripts, something's called uh, 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 Caronto, I believe it was called. Like, I don't even know, is that still around? You know, how many times I've lost a database on there before I really understood databases, even, and that is the place to grow just like even even with something like me i'm show or awesome cast as far as a podcast goes we try things there while they're established we get to i i, I we're trying to make them better shows and trying new technologies here in the studio here um our duct tape studio here and even you know something like this was come from an experiment and somewhere where i get to experiment with with new styles of podcasts and everything. Um, sometimes we go do something off the wall, like Sawtooth Willie. Say, let's do a web series. I haven't done anything that's a that's a, a not a conversation between two real people. So we uh, stick this guy in my closet, uh, dirty him up, and and we're talking to a Pittsburgh hobo. And it's some fantastic, fantastic improv stuff uh, that we're putting up on the web, and people are digging it. We're, we're we're growing, not huge following, but it doesn't matter. It's something that that even the the small amount of people that see it um, remember it. Right. And know that that's something we do. Um, and also gets me out of the area where, oh, you're the guy that does wrestling videos. Well, well here's this over here now, too. So maybe that opens up to opportunities. Right. Or maybe that uh, impresses somebody and we do some business with somebody. Um, but that's that's the throwing things out there. It's a great thing about the Internet. If you're like, well, I want to do, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. We talked about in the past, like, well, what what are you? You know, if you're a writer, write, you know, and I, and I, I self-identify as. I'm a podcaster. I'm a maker. I'm a video maker. I'm a, a, a content creator. I, you know, I start with a podcaster, at least at the time when I was having that discussion with myself with, in front of this microphone with you guys. But uh, I identify, I'm starting to more identify myself as just a producer. I'm not saying a video producer because I feel like that precludes podcasts a little bit because it's not all, you know, the one client podcast. I don't do, other than probably Monday, I don't do another video podcast uh solely uh yeah, the, the, we we stay with audio you know this is my my kind of like hey we can do this thing look at this you know and not everybody can or needs to or has to right um you know the only reason is video for 
for our client, one client is just because, well, we were able to get this microphone and this this webcam, and and why not? It's the, the more people will be on audio anyways, but it's great to show your smiling faces as well and our wonderful students. You know, it's like, uh, you know, I thought of, I thought it's a great visual. You know, and then I get to set them up, and we have better pictures for for our social media when we have them on a, a quote unquote set doing this thing, right? Um, but w- where's that whiteboard at? Where are you experimenting? Um, even if you're have the day job, and it is definitely something that you're, uh, you know, I, I, you know, just like just like for a day job, you need to kind of keep your skills up and 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 keep an eye on the information and, and go to the conferences. When you're in a creative field, you need to, uh, you know, do something outside. Because I mean, there's one thing, uh, you know, they talk about failing up. They talk about, you know, um, they talk about, uh, you know, kind of stretching out. Sometimes you can't do that in your day job. You can't really fail in public in front of your boss all the time or else that might become a problem. So having a side project that is, uh, you know, okay, we're doing good with this. Uh, let's let's try this under, you know, under a podcast. Like what if I start promoting a podcast as me and there's no real uh, danger of somebody who's paying me to be the expert in this uh, to see me kind of fail because I experimented too hard in this, right? Uh, and and so we get to try something different with the Wrestling Mayhem show. And now it's like, well, that didn't work, so I'm glad I didn't bring that to this person, you know? Or, well, hey, we did, or that's a thing that's now in the back of your head when you're having a meeting with somebody and you're trying to figure out a content strategy and they're like, you know, we tried this uh, and it worked really well and got some fans and it did this, you know? And I think on this scale, it might apply here. And that's how you you build this Rolodex of information in your head uh, from these experiences. Um, over on our friends fishing without bait, we talk about the experiences uh, in your life that uh, some of them you throw away, some of them you keep, and that's what shapes um, who you are and and what choices and how you make those choices in the future. And when you're talking about your skill sets, it kind of it does the same thing, right? Uh, you are doing these experiments. You're playing with Twitter. You're 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 trying new methods of making a podcast. You're making new video shows, uh, shooting things in a different way. And uh, I I you know the pro wrestling stuff. We just got new equipment for, that we talked about. And again, that's the place I get to experiment because it's a little easier for me to experiment around the pro wrestling stuff than a client that's you know than a you know a direct energy or somebody that we've worked for in the past, right? Because it's kind of a bigger scale at that point. Uh, so, you know, going into it is like, well, we know we're going to fail these first few, a few times out. There are things about the first show we did with RWA. I am not happy with, there are things about the second show that I'm a little happier about, but I know there's still things that we need to fix. And eventually that experimentation and that failing just makes new wrinkles in your brain. You throw out the stuff that didn't work. You ha- you're aware of it and you move on. What happened this week? We had our fun show. I was drinking a little bit, a little bit of this vodka here for Wrestling Mayhem Show 500. We got the Indie Mayhem Show, and and we failed. The audio went, and thankfully, things have happened in the past that made that wrinkle that has an audio backup over here. That's another thing we can talk about as well. And then that became, well, because of that thing in the past, we just fixed something in the future is that new wrinkle. Because we experimented here, and we know to do it here. You know, and what if that becomes a client thing? And we've had that, you know, client things that have fallen apart and we rescued them, pulled a video off Periscope and started working with that audio because we absolutely lost the sole video, you know, um, throwing a, a secondary mic on my commentary team because I realize I have no backup if the computer fails. At least I have something. Part of that. We'll talk about backups in a future episode too. But have that whiteboard. Where do you get to experiment? Outside of your main job career thing, maybe part of your company, maybe it's a small internal project, a skunk works, if you will. Um, I think I think this is an important concept to kind of roll with. Uh, let me know what you think at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.